All right, anatomical directions, super important. These are used constantly. You have to know these, okay? So anatomical directions describe the location of a body part in relation to another body part, okay? So um, it's like saying somebody is shorter than somebody else, okay? But instead, these are going to say other things rather than short. They're going to say that something is superior, inferior, anterior, posterior, medial, lateral, proximal, distal, superficial, deep, ipsilateral, contralateral, lateral to something else. Okay. Now, often it's not explicitly said what the something else is. Like um, a vessel might be called, you know, a superior vessel, and they don't they don't say superior to this other vessel. They just say that it's the superior vena cava without saying it's superior to the inferior vena cava. Okay. All right. So here's a description. This is a picture from the anatomy coloring book that I colored myself, All right? So superior cranial, closer to the top of the head, higher up. It refers to the head torso or uh, the neck, not to the limbs. Okay, they have other words for describing positions on those or directions on those. Inferior, also caudal is another synonym, closer to the feet. Anterior, ventral is a synonym, more in the front than something else. Posterior, dorsal, more in the back. Medial, closer to the midline. Lateral, farther from the midline. You have to know all these, so yeah. Proximal, closer to the attached base of a limb. This is for limbs. Distal, farther from the attached base of a limb. All right, so for your arm, like your shoulder, um, you know, for your leg, where your leg meets your trunk. Okay, superficial, closer to the surface of the body, deep, farther from the surface of the body. Ipsilateral, on the same side as some reference point. Okay. So here, if you look in the picture here, they're showing that this guy is wearing an eye patch. So if he had something, he had been in an explosion, his eye was hurt, but he had also had some of his teeth knocked out, you would say that the damage was ipsilateral on the same side. On the other hand, if it had occurred on this side, you would say it was contralateral on the opposite side of the reference point. So he hurt his right eye and his left teeth were knocked out. So the damage to his teeth was contralateral to the damage to his eye. All right, and then this is just an enlarged picture so that you can read the tiny little words as well as possible. And just as a note on these directions, um, they're always given as if the person was standing there in anatomical position. Okay, so their palms are always forward. Okay. And when you talk about right and left, it's not like when you're talking about a, like a picture and somebody might say, um, oh, look, look at that girl standing in the picture on the right. And you would you know, look towards your right. No, this is talked about referring to their right. So imagine this is a patient or something, you're looking at them. It doesn't matter whether it's your right or your left, it's their right or left that's important, okay? So when you talk about right and left, you're talking about their right, okay? So don't get confused. Their right and left, their right and left. It takes a little switching around, but after a while you get used to it. All right, so we're gonna move on. To